Indonesia is the world's fourth largest country and biggest island nation. It hosts nearly a thousand ethnic groups forged into a modern country whose motto is Bineka Tunggul Ika, unity and diversity. But how did it get this way? Anthropologists have been studying this diversity for the last century. They have described the different cultures, but they don't know how they came about. Where did Indonesians come from? How and why did the different cultures develop? In the last few years, geneticists have joined with anthropologists to unravel this mystery behind the sheer diversity of modern Indonesia. A group of Indonesian researchers recently began a unique collaboration with international scientists to ask these questions. Led by the Eichmann Institute for Molecular Biology, Indonesia's top genetics research centre, this group is working with thousands of volunteers from cultures right across Indonesia. We know that the first people arrived in Indonesia 50,000 years ago. DNA tells us that lots of other groups have come in since then, helping to create the Indonesians of today. Reading the genetics gives us a picture of Indonesian people now. But if we want to reconstruct history, we have to turn to mathematics and computers. We basically aim to replay history using virtual scenarios, just like computer games like SimCity or Civilization, where you build virtual societies, but changing the rules leads to slightly different outcomes. We do almost the same thing. We create virtual scenarios where groups of people moved into Indonesia and acted in different ways. The simulations that look like what we see in the real world are our best guesses about what the past was really like. We have found that the end of the last ice age led to the flooding of Indonesia, creating the island world that is so familiar today, and scattering people onto the different islands that make up modern Indonesia. Later, the spread of rice farmers about 4,000 years ago allowed Indonesian populations to grow, triggering the rapid rise in populations that makes Indonesia one of the world's most populous countries today. These are just two reasons why Indonesia has so many different cultures, even though everyone shares much the same history. There are lots of other questions that we still don't know anything about. What Indonesian groups were involved in settling places far away from their home, like Madagascar or the vast Pacific Ocean? Or how does the complex history of Indonesia affect people's chances of getting a particular disease? Indonesian scientists and their international partners are working together to unravel these mysteries and help find out why Indonesia is such a fascinating place today.